Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm back with another Led Z tool reaction and today it's going to be Neuma, Nima, Numa. This one has been requested a bunch and I've purposely actually stayed away from it. A few drummer friends even sent me through this clip to check out because it uh, looks like it's going to be at a pretty impressive drum cam type thing of Danny Carey. Again, Danny Carey, another legend, and probably Tool, a great band to follow on from the Led Zepp sort of rabbit hole because very similar, very progressive, very unusual, not your average sort of band that you hear on the radio, obviously. So it's going to be another good one. Oh, and before you say, you're a drum teacher, you've never heard of Led Zeppelin or Tool? I have heard of both bands. Of course, you can't go throughout your life, really, without hearing of Led Zeppelin or Tool, especially as a drummer. It's just I haven't taken a deep dive on it, um, and I haven't sort of, I haven't got any of the albums, I'll put it that way. I actually went to a Tool concert uh, in about, must have been about 1998. Ooh. Um, yeah, and it was amazing. I loved it. But again, I don't have any of the albums. It's not the kind of thing I'd put on as I'm sort of um, just hanging out in the house or driving around or something like that. It just simply isn't. And that's just life. That's just people listen to different types of music for different reasons. Um, and it's impossible to check out everything. That is why I'm doing these videos. So it forces me, gives me a bit of accountability to actually check them out and finally get to them. Sorry, I don't want to delay any further because it's another long one. That's what but she said. Real quick, uh, before we get rolling, uh, the guru on all this stuff is my homeboy, Aaron Edgar. I had him on the podcast. I think it was episode 40 or 41. Uh, we did two episodes and we covered a lot of the, uh, what, what we would call rhythmic illusions, the types of things that drummers like Danny Carey really who are really complicated, use a lot of complicated tools, use. So uh, if you really want to know more about it, uh, check out those podcast episodes. I'll link to them in, in the description. And he actually did a polyrhythms of, I think it was called polyrhythms of tool course on Drumeo. Um, and he breaks down and uh, as only Aaron Edgar can exactly how to play this type of stuff. And um, yeah, it's it's a no-brainer. If you're a drummer and you want to really get your head around this stuff, head to that. Link in the description. Anyway, without further ado, let's do it. No, Pneuma tool. Let's go. Oh boy, what am I getting into here? I'm expecting polyrhythm, displacement, Metric modulation, uh, craziness. <laughs> Those are sample pads, right? It's a monster kit. It's like he's controlling the Death Star. Really couldn't see his kit when I saw them at the concert. Well, it was a long time ago, but. Actually, Maynard was behind a, a sheet for I think most of the concert. This is already ridiculous. Tabla sound there, eh? I don't even want to know what time signature or what polyrhythm we are doing here. Actually, just real quick, it looks like he's about to launch into something now. Um, yeah, th this is a total reaction video. This is not an analysis, and I'm not equipped to analyze tool anyway, because this is way beyond my pay level. Yeah, I'm much more on meat and potatoes, straight down the middle. Ain't no one going to hold me back. Ain't no one going to break my stride. I've got to keep on moving kind of guy. And this is... 
this is just ridiculous. So it, yeah, there won't be a lot of analysis going on here. I don't know. I free, freely admit I'm a drum teacher and I don't know what the hell he's doing at all, but it's amazing. I'm not going to be stopping this video a lot, I hope. If you are watching along with me, put on some good headphones, please, because this, this needs to be appreciated with good headphones. One doesn't simply listen to Tool on the subway with the, with the iPod, you know, earbuds in. You need to properly listen to this. Let's keep going. Ear tone. Healthy. Very calm, isn't he? It's not. I'm gonna look like a real dick if I start nodding my head because the textbook tool time signature is gonna mess me up. Ah, coffee. Listening. Music, drums. He's a big dude, isn't he? How tall is Danny Carey? Numa. Numa. I've already done the intro and I look like a total peanut when I did it because I didn't know what it was called, so Numa. Good. Yo, drummers, is that his only set of hi hats? So he just has a hi hat. He only has hi hats in the middle of the kit. It's a quite an unusual setup. Oh, yeah. Hold up, hold everything. Ooh, baby. Drum horn, is that it, eh? What is that keyboard looking arc thing behind him? Is that a graphic or is that an instrument? Danny Carey is one of the greats. He often gets left out of the conversation, but he's one of the great drummers. What other drummer could be in tool? There you go. I bet tool had a big Led Zepp influence. I'd put money on it. I don't know, but I'd put money on it. It's like a new version of Led Zepp, really. Up modern, modernized. Making that tabla sound really works. It's really cool. Yeah, this is only set of hi hats, right? 
a strange position. Yeah, I'm giving stink face. Oh! Hold up, hold up. One too. He did it. There's not a drum face on the other one. Monstrous. And no, I won't be doing a drum cover of any tool. Sorry. I, I can't. Cheers. Walking around back there. I wonder if he is into his Indian rhythms. I need to do some homework, obviously, on Danny Carey. Picking his influences, he seems he's so very calm when he plays, despite this being ridiculously taxing. He looks like very zen. I would pick my guesstimate would be he's into meditation. He's very at one spiritually with himself, a very comfortable sort of person, zero ego. I would make the assumption that. You know, he's nice to his roadie, that kind of, his drum tech, that kind of thing. I think he would, be, he has to be into Indian uh, traditional music because of the time signature thing and the sounds, the tabla. I reckon John Bonham must have been a big influence, Led Zepp on the whole band. Yeah, quick thoughts. Anyway, let's keep it going. I shouldn't have stopped there because he was mid-flow. Does he have bad nights? Does he come off the stage and go, man, I suck tonight? Or is he just like, eh, nailed it again?
Fonda. Holy beep. They're gonna shift gear again. Where can it go? Just dig in even more. I'm not supposed to be able to do this. Don't you just love what settling the in the book? Wow. Nailed it, guys. I'd be happy with just that one pill. Bottom triplets. Danny Carey broke my pop filter. I knew it was going to be epic. I knew it was going to be ridiculous. It's tall. It's Danny Carey. Um, uh, yep, it, it probably exceeded, definitely exceeded my expectations. Absolutely phenomenal. Where does this guy stack for you amongst, you know, the greatest drummers? I mean, it's a silly question because... You can't say who's the greatest, it's who you like the best, who you respect the most, and of course whose music you probably listen to a lot. I think one reason Danny is not possibly always in that conversation is I don't know how much work he's done on other people's albums. So obviously the session greats always get mentioned, the Jeff Bacaros, Jeff uh, Jim Keltner. Hal Blaine because they just played on thousands and thousands and thousands of albums. I'm not sure if Danny has done a lot of stuff other than Tool, although Tool in itself is just ridiculous. A lot like Bonham, um, you know, I think no one for Led Zeppelin and might have done a track here and there. But anyway, how does he stack up for you? I mean, I think he's one of the greats. I really do. Even without the deep dive on him and knowing a lot of their songs. I still think he's got to be up there tall. I mean, they completely broke the mold. They don't follow any of the rules. Again, like Led Zeppelin, just do their own thing. The masters of their own sort of destiny type band. And they, they don't care about any commercial success. I'm sure they like it, you know, that people do like the band. But I think they'd be doing what they do anyway. Just real art. Fantastic. Be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, um, hit me in the comments with any uh, queries, complaints, anything like that. Um, yeah, who knows? Maybe we're going to go down a tool rabbit hole. I don't know, but we'll see. 
very, very enjoyable, amazing drumming. And check out the Aaron Edgar uh, Polyrhythms of Tool course on Drumio. It's super good if you're a drummer. All right, take it easy. See you next time.